A little wheat bread sound right there. It's ham and cheese, nothing extra. Ham and light cheese, one piece of cheese on there. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get two of those. <laughs> Indeed. Mm-hmm. You got the fire. I ain't gonna lie, these motherfuckers fries are hitting like that. But they look like McDonald's fries until you eat them up. You be like, alright, <laughs> you know motherfucking McDonald's fries. Oh no, the cookie are. The cookies is hard. All three cookies is hard. <laughs> Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. We ain't even top of the morning, man. It's 12. Welcome back to another vlog. Y'all know I drop bangers, man. Well, actually, today it's not a vlog. I don't know why I just said it was a vlog. It's a mukbang. It's a mukbang size vlog. So I'm going to still put the little thing over here at the bottom, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of a vlog, but not really. It's really a mukbang. Today's video, I just want to tell y'all the meaning of my tattoos. And I just want to have a mukbang because I never had a mukbang on my channel before. When I go back home, I'm going to have hella mukbangs with my little brother because he funny as hell. I don't know if y'all know Mari, but if y'all new to my channel, I got a little brother. His name is Mari. He funny as shit. I ain't going to lie to y'all. And I'm just starting up the mukbangs now just so I can get used to them by the time I get back to the crib in like a week or two. And I'm about to do mukbangs with my family. Like I was like, man, I just need to start stepping out of my comfort zone, making different type of videos. That's what I'm about to do. So I'm about to go to the calf. Now hear me out, bro. Let me give y'all the backstory on the calf. You know what I'm saying? So basically, everybody used to eat at the calf. Long story short, the food started getting nasty. They stopped cooking the food, right? Um, they ended up getting maggots or something in the food. I forgot, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know none of this because all I eat at is the little deli part. So I could really care less. So why do I always spit in my lens? I don't know why I do that. Shit. My bad, y'all. But um, like I was saying, I don't eat the main food. And shit. All I eat is fries and sandwiches every day. That's all I eat. I'm hella picky. I don't eat ketchup. I say eat. But like ketchup, barbecue sauce, uh, chicken on the bone. Anything that you can think of, I probably, mo no, not probably. I don't eat that. Shit. So that's my side of the story. You feel me? So I'm about to go to the cafe and get the same shit I've been getting all year. But since all of that happened j-rock man man and all of them sean they was like oh we not eating there and shit so whenever they see people going to calf and eating the calf a lot they call niggas calf muncher so that's the backstory that so whenever y'all watching my vlogs y'all be like bro it's a calf muncher they call me a calf muncher now because i stay in the calf but i don't give a damn you feel me i got a meal plan so i'm going to the calf i'm starving I ate all the food that my mom sent down here, my nigga. So I got to eat at the calf. Now, I ain't got no choice. So that's the backstory of that. So I'm about to go to the calf, go get my sandwiches and shit. <laughs> you feel me? Hold on. Hold on. Because <laughs> I got the little I got the little thing right here. You know what I'm saying? This little thing right here is very powerful. I can give me a little container, give me some fries and two sandwiches. So, yeah, that's the vibe, man. I'll see y'all after I go get my food. A few moments later. Hey. Hey, man, I got a question, bro. What's up with everybody on campus walking up to me asking, Charlie, are you coming back? Yes, nigga. We winning. I'm doing good. I'm improving. I don't know what's going on with y'all situation, but I'm coming back. You know, hey man, the hell? Hey, Charlie, you come is are you coming? Yes, I'm back. I don't know what the hell. Just cause y'all got them terrible situations y'all got going through. Hey, I can only speak for me. You dig what I'm saying? But look, we got a mother Charlie chip cookies from the cab. Them motherfuckers are not that good, but I grabbed it anyway. I ain't gonna lie, I'm finna kill it. I don't even shit. Hey look guy. Hey boy, let me hold on, let me let me let me show you how to look. Cause I don't give a damn. This be hitting. Wheat bread sandwich. This is why I've been running faster. Been eating way healthier. Well really I've been eating healthy all year. You know what I'm saying? A little wheat bread sandwich right there. It's ham and cheese. Nothing extra. Ham and light cheese, one piece of cheese on there. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get two of those. <laughs> Indeed. You can get a mm -hmm. got the fire. I ain't gonna lie, these motherfuckers fries are hitting like that. But they look like McDonald's fries until you eat them up. You be like, alright, <laughs> you know motherfuckers McDonald's fries. But uh got the lime lemonade, you know what I'm saying? I mean lime lime uh lime green Gatorade. That's what I should have said. With the little brush of cup, you know what I'm saying? Yeah man, we eating good. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? I ain't eat all day. I was looking forward to this because last night, uh, the food was booty, you know what I'm saying? Straight garbage. Then I came back. Then I came back because uh, they had this thing at eight o'clock for finals week, and I go in there, bro. You feel me? Uh, they had sausage biscuits, so I get me a, a biscuit. You know what I'm saying? But I don't eat the the sausage patty because that shit is nasty. I used to eat sausage patties like when I was little. And shit, but, like the older I got, I just start with bacon. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I only want bacon, but they ain't had no bacon. So check this out. 
I'm starving, bro. So they got a little croissant right next to the um, biscuits. So I'm like, okay, let me get two two uh, croissants. Let me get two uh, uh, sausage biscuits. So the girl like, okay, you know what I'm saying? She only give me two sausage biscuits. So then I had to leave, come back. So I came back with the same plate. I'm like, okay, let me get two croissants. She said, oh, got quiet. So then out of nowhere, the housing lady, she come out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere. She said, dude, you already have two in your plate. Why are you on my plate? You dig what I'm saying? Like, why are you looking at my plate? Nigga, I eat all day. Look at me, nigga. I'm skinny as hell. I would not be this skinny if I was eating good. But long story short, man, she's like, oh, you got two in your plate. I'm like, I just look at her. So I'm like, okay, well, can I get, like, a, a croissant sandwich? I'm like, I'm about to leave. She said, you can get one. I was like, you know, you made a way bigger deal out of that than you had to. Got my food. I said, you have a blessed day. And I left. And I was starving like a mother. I had me two pineapple tidbits, so I said tidbits. I think that's how you said the little pineapple cups. I had two of them. And that's all I had, bro. So right now, this is a feast to me. <laughs> I'm about to eat good as hell. Like, stop playing, bro. Stop playing. So let's get started on. Uh, let me get started on why I got these tattoos. So, yeah, my my hands might be crusty. So, yeah. So this one right here, you know what I'm saying, Heather. Charlie and I got the CM3 right here. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into that. So I was scared to get a tattoo in general. You know what I'm saying? I was always scared to get a tattoo. I don't know why. Probably because it hurt. I don't know, but I was just scared to get a tattoo. So um we pull up to damn whose house was it? My bro Devin's house. He used to be cool with us. Uh no, it's Stanley, it's Stan Juan's house. So we go to Stan Juan's house, dude doing tattoos or whatever, you know what I'm saying? We big chilling and shit. And first I started off with, um, I was going to get CM3 spelled out, you know what I'm saying, like how it is on my YouTube channel, but I didn't end up doing that Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, hold on. Indeed, that's good. Mm. <laughs> that's good, bro. That's good, bro. I was hungry as hell. I ain't going to lie. Bro. I dead ass got up and damn near ran to the cab today. I missed breakfast, but I got up at like eight or nine and I waited till eleven. I damn near ran to the cab, but I ended up going at twelve. I'm spitting on my food and shit. But yeah, like I was saying, I was gonna get it spelled out CM3, but everybody on my Snapchat they was like, no, I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's ugly as hell. But I don't give a damn what anybody thinks because it's my body and I'm a tattoo what I want to tattoo, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna get the little CM3. And I got it this way because when I was younger, Chris Paul was one of my favorite basketball players because I used to have his shoes, you know what I'm saying? CP3, RG3, you you know, y'all get what I'm saying. So I'm like, okay, I'm finna get CM3 right here. So long story short, bro, dude get to uh, drawing it on here. And I'm like, I don't even want that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Cause like when he first drew it, I was thinking, I was like, I don't even want that shit. Like it looked like it's finna hurt. Cause like y'all see how the letters are? Yeah, it might still popping too. You know what I'm saying? Must still popping. Good ass skin. Everybody ain't got skin like this, man. I look good as hell. Everybody ain't got this skin, man. That nigga ugly as the fuck. He ugly as the fuck. He drew it on there, and I'm like, bro, I don't even want that shit no more, bro. I was like, that look like it's finna hurt, but I ain't tell him that because he had already took all his time out. You know what I'm saying? Drawing all this shit on there, and then he put the clouds. Like he started drawing clouds around it. I was like, oh my goodness, this is about to hurt. So. Um, I don't know if I can really say this on camera, but I'm saying anyway, I took like two shots because I was like, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh no, tattoo sober. So I just took like two little shots. Uh, hmm. I was 21, wasn't I? I think I was 20 or 21. I don't know how old it ain't none of y'all business real. But, you know what I'm saying? I took me two little shots and I was right. <laughs> boy, I was right. Boy, I was right. Hear me. Actually, bro, I think I dropped the video. Bro, I dropped the video when I got my first tattoo. I gotta find it. It's somewhere on my YouTube channel. Y'all find it? It's on there. I dropped a video when I first got my tattoo. Damn, I did. That's how you know I drop a lot of videos. I just now remember that one. Yeah. But, um. Man, them motherfucking sandwiches be hidden, bro. Them sandwiches from the cows be hidden. Don't let nobody else tell you no different. You hear it from me first. Now, after a while, once you start eating them every single day like me, them motherfuckers gonna hit the same, but. I'm starving, so right now, this is the best sandwich I ever had. So. Really, nigga? So, I start getting the tattoo, you feel me? When I tell you, it wasn't the C, or it wasn't the 3. It was the M. The M was killing me, bro. 
So I took two more shots. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, after he finished like the outline of this, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know he had to go around do the uh, like the little shade and stuff. Man, I wish I was in a better lighting position, bro. But like he had to do the little shade and stuff like that. That shit hurt so bad, bro. All of this hurt. Like when he was shading all this in, bro, it felt like it felt like somebody was just taking a, a knife. It was just like stabbing the shit out of me in my arm right here, bro. That shit was hurting. So I'm like, okay, after this tattoo, I'm never getting another tattoo. But like I told y'all, I took two shots in the beginning. I took two shots when he started doing the M. So now I'm really right. So I'm like, oh man, I'm thinking of all type of ideas and I'm a runner and when I run some, well, when I used to run, I used to look at my hands a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'd be running and like, I'm like, I don't know. I just used to look at my hands a lot. And like, I think about my parents, like shit that motivate me to keep me going during the run. And I was like, bro, I know it's dumb as hell. I know it sounds stupid as hell, but it's the truth. But it started off like this. I was like, I'm gonna get my mom's name on this hand. So after, bro, this tattoo hurt the, no, I take it back. This, these hurt the most. On your hands, you know what I'm saying? My mom, oh yeah, I gotta say this. My mom, my grandma, they didn't approve of that. The only person that approved of me getting a hand tattoo really was my dad, cause my mom was not happy. She still don't like, this. she might not admit it, but she don't like that shit at all. Once I got it, she was like, you use your hands a lot. And she was talking about in the workforce and shit, but I'm different. I don't wanna be in the workforce. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a content creator. Let me stop saying YouTuber. I, can't, I feel like I'm putting myself in a box. No, I think I'm a content creator because I can do all type of shit. She didn't know none of that at the time, but I always let it be known that I wanted to be a content creator. You know what I'm saying? So that's really why I didn't care about the hand tattoos and shit. Now, I know y'all probably like, man, that's stupid as hell. That's a dumbass way of thinking about it, but yeah, I'm spitting all up on my food. <laughs> but when you believe in yourself as much as I do, I don't give a damn what anybody thinks. As you can see, what am I doing right now? I'm making a video. And this was, when I get these two years ago, I'm still at this shit. So, that's that part. You feel me? But, like I was saying, this shit hurts so bad. So, uh, I got my mom's tattoo right here. You see this little curve right here, bro? This is bone. That nigga was giving me the tattoo. My mother finger was doing it right here. On some freaky shit. I said, oh, no. I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm like, I'm done. I ain't getting no more tattoos. But, like I told y'all. I took them shots, boy. So I was right. After he got done with this one, I said, damn, I was like, man, like, Pops is really my dog. I was like, man, Pops my dog. I'm like, man, I gotta get, like, you know what I'm saying, something with Pops. I was like, I just got mom's name tatted, okay. So I'm like, man, get, uh, put Pops name on this hand. So it say Charlie Jr. <laughs> bro, bro, I'm telling you, bro, this shit real shit, bro. So I'm like, so this was like Charlie Jr. This one hurt more than this one because it got the little junior over here all up on the bone. It's bone all back here. These were the worst tattoos ever, bro. We're well, not the worst like tattoos to get, but like when it come to pain, like a scale of pain, bro, it was definitely at a nine. It wasn't at a 10. Cause if it was at a 10, I would have been like, hey bro, you need to stop. Let me come back later. I got other shit to do. I can't be, you know what I'm I can't be doing all this shit. Nah, mm -mm. I got this one. Now I got this one, so I'm like, okay, I got three tats now. So you know what I'm saying? I'm taking pictures, uh, sharing and shit. People on my ass. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Besides with the hand tats, like they was okay, them hard. But when I got the CM3, they was like, why would you get the CM3 right there? Why? Like, what is that? What does that mean? Charlie McAllister the third, nigga. That shit is hard. I don't care what nobody say. This is the hardest tat. Cause I'm about to build around it. That's, like you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get more tats, but I don't know if I want to get a full sleeve, like all types. Because I like, you know what I'm saying? I like my skin. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like how my skin looking. I just don't want my whole body filled with ink. I just don't. I'm not one of them. But I do want some more tats. Um, damn, I did more talking to eat. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I'm keeping the bug with y'all on. <laughs> the fries is booty. Oh! I'm just gonna keep the bug. The fries is booty. So I'm really just eating two sandwiches. Let me taste what the, what, the cookie good. Hell no, the cookie are. The cookies is on. All three cookies is on. But <laughs> all the three of them is on, bro. None of them cookies is good. I took one bite out of Buddy. I'm. Pause, but I took one bite. I'm like, hey, yo, like that motherfucker was not, bro. 
I'm nigga all oh, look at look look at my muscles, nigga. I'm trying to pinch this mother. That's how hard the cookie is, man. Man, hey man, my mukbang is about to be lit, bro. I need to make more mukbangs because this is funny. Like, I don't know. I need, well, no, not more mukbangs. I need to do story times too because I'm telling you, man, I got some stories for y'all, bro. I need, I'm definitely going to do more mukbangs, though. But, um, yeah, that's basically. <coughs> Damn. Bro, I don't even want this food no more. I'm spitting on the food, coughing and shit. I don't even want the food no more. Damn. I'm wilding. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know what the hell going on with me right now. But, um, yeah, man. That's the reason. I mean, it's hella windy, but that's the reason I got my tattoos. So, if y'all enjoyed this video, actually, I'm not about to end the video right now. Because I got to talk my shit. So, yesterday, a uh, nigga named King go comment on my shit talking about. No, I'm going to put the comment. Actually, let me read it off. He said. I think it's time for you to stop cutting your shit, fam. Just go ahead and pay that dub to get it cut. <laughs> okay, now he right. You know what I'm saying? But I can't let Buddy disrespect my cut this time because when I responded to him, I was like, did you watch the other videos? Because I was f***ing my shit, but now I feel like I got better. He said, yeah, but now you cutting patches in your shit. Oh. I only cut a patch in my crown. And I fixed it. But I can't let Buddy just talk about my shit. Hold on, hold on. Let me get, hold on. Let me, uh, let me, let me get right now. Let me get the brush out. I can't just be on here showing my uh my hairline and it's up and shit right now because I just got there doing the brush that shit. That's how I put on the do-rag. It do make me look a little rough, but hold on. Let me Damn, this was the worst mug bag ever though. But I'm about to do more of these for real. Hold on, let me get <laughs> go on, get up. Y'all get up. Come on. Come on, come with me. Come on, come with me. Let's get on up in the sun with these. Y'all see them, right? This is dipping. Now it's a lot of nose in the camera. <laughs> it's a whole lot of nose in the camera, but them motherfuckers is different. Look at the full cut. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. Indeed. I just had to show Buddy that because he's talking about I'm out here tearing up my hair, but I got one of the crispiest right now. I just did all that, bro. I just got done brushing my hair and shit. I should have really showed him in the beginning, but yeah, man. Like, come on, man. I did that this time, bro. But if y'all boys enjoyed this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I got more mukbangs on the way. You know what I'm saying? This is just one of them. I got some stories for y'all. I used to be a thief. Oh! Yeah, man. It's a lot of shit. I ain't, man, hey, man. I got some tour. What? I said tour. I got some stories for y'all, though. All y'all got to do is keep on tuning in. Um, This ain't even only. Damn, I cannot talk. But this ain't even the only video that I'm dropping today. Y'all know I got a running vlog dropping later on today. So make sure that y'all tune in later, man. I got another video dropping today, bro. I'm trying to get these motherfuckers rolling. This summer is my year. Well, my... What? I, mean, I'm, I sound so damn dumb. This summer, I will be blowing up on YouTube. Because I will be dropping videos every single day. It's my shit. Now, y'all might see me on TikTok. Y'all might see me on Instagram. Y'all might see me on Facebook. Like I told y'all in other videos. But YouTube is my shit. Like, this is what I love to do right here. Making these videos like this. I don't like making little short videos and shit. That ain't really my thing. But I know how to use it. You know what I'm saying? I know how to use the internet. I know what to do. So, that's why, like, I be chopping up my cliff and shit. Posting everywhere. Because I know how the internet work now. You know what I'm saying? I've been on here long enough. Two and a half years, bro. Shit is about to get real deal serious. CM3 is taking over, no cap. So make sure that y'all tune in next video. And I'll see y'all then. CM3 out. Peace.